So I've been looking for a watch that I can take on adventures with me, the type of watch that I wouldn't really care if I scratched it up a bit or if it took a little bit of a beating. And Timex is known for those types of watches. So I looked online and I actually found this uh, Expedition solar powered watch from Timex, the Gallatin, and it was actually on sale with a coupon code right on their website. I thought this would make the ultimate watch when I go fishing or other outdoor activities. And here is my story about my new Gallatin Expedition from Timex. So one of the first things I noticed when I put on my uh, Expedition from Timex was how comfortable the strap was. It actually was a very light watch because it is mostly made out of plastic and it also is rated at about 50 meters for water depth which isn't a lot but considering that I'm not taking it uh, swimming or doing anything major with it where I need to get it deeper in water it's perfect for my everyday use. So this watch has a lot of different features that I want to talk about in this video and it's one of those watches that you just fall in love with and you want to use it every day. I bought this for an expedition watch and to go out and do uh, adventure type things if you want to call it that. But because the watch is so comfortable, I found that I've been using it around uh, town for different things that I'm doing throughout the day instead of throwing on my other watches. Now, when it came to the actual hour, minute, and second hands, uh, this watch just has a nice clean aesthetic to it. And if you look at the uh, second hand with its nice red contrast to the black, it just stands out and it looks beautiful, especially in the sunlight when I was fishing and I was checking the time. It was just amazing to see the uh, solar uh, panel on the back uh, shining through and knowing that this watch is being powered by the sun is pretty cool if you're taking it out on adventures. Knowing that this watch uh, can power itself while you're out and about. So this watch was actually priced at $90 on the Timex Canada website, but because there was a coupon code, I got a 20% discount on the price of the watch, which made it a little bit more affordable and actually a pretty good value when I take a look at the watch now and compare it to some of the other watches that I was considering. This price range is actually perfect for a watch that you're going to be taking out and doing things that are a little bit more uh, intensive that you wouldn't want to ruin a more expensive watch with. Now, I did consider some uh, field watches from different uh, manufacturers, and all of the ones that I did like were over $300, and I was kind of reluctant to pay that much money for a watch that I figured would be taking on uh, so much when I go out and so much abuse, and this uh, was the perfect price point when you think that it's under $100 and it serves the purpose well for being uh, an adventure watch, an expedition watch, an outdoor field watch if you want to call it. The time is easy to read on this watch. The uh, loom is not perfect but it is good enough that if you're out in the dark doing things you will be able to see what time it is and I found that the value for all of these things at under $90 plus that coupon code just made this the perfect buy. So here are some of the uh, specs on this watch. Obviously you don't have a crystal display on a watch this price. It's an acrylic uh, display and the other thing that I found that was a little bit annoying but I could get over it was the date window so numbers with a one in front of it um, the one was very small compared to the number next to it so if you're trying to set the watch you might have thought you had it on uh, for example the fifth and it might actually be the 15th so that was the only little thing that I could pick about on this particular watch it was just that the date window should have been a little bit better thought out because you want to quickly look at your watch and set it and uh, that was a little bit annoying but other than that like the comfort of the strap this uh, fabric strap is really nice because if you get it wet or anything like that it quickly dries um, I wasn't upset with anything else on this watch I just love it it's become maybe my everyday watch and I didn't mean it for it to be this uh, functional and that I would use it this much but I am so that's a good thing when you buy a watch and you become um, intrigued by some of the things that the watchmaker has put into the watch and it becomes your everyday watch so it's hard sometimes to pick between which watch you're going to use you know your more expensive watches or are you going to use a watch that was under a hundred dollars so that's kind of a neat thing when you come across a watch that uh, that puts you in that position so as far as my uh, fishing trip, I'm going to lie, I'm going to say I fished a lot and got a lot of fish, 
No, I didn't. It actually turned out to be a very um, slow day, I guess, at the fishing pond. Nobody was getting anything. It was really difficult to catch anything on this particular day. So there is no fish to show you in this video. Although if I could have photoshopped something in, I would have. But hey, we'll leave that for another video. Until then, if you guys enjoy this type of content, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And if you hit the like button, you help us get found on YouTube. So see you in the next watch story.